We will do anything we can to assist and support the loved ones and anyone else impacted by this heartbreaking incident. Our family liaison officers are supporting the families and offering what comfort they can, as is Victim Services of York Region, which is also engaged. As you're aware, and I reported last night, at 7.20 p.m., York Regional Police responded to an active shooter incident at a condominium building located at 9235 Jane Street. As I mentioned at the scene, officers arrived to find a horrific scene, with five deceased victims having been shot and killed in three separate units. As you're aware, there was an in, uh, interaction between the officers and a 73-year-old male suspect, a resident of that building, who died on the third floor. He's been identified as Francesco Villi. The officer in that interaction is a 24-year veteran of York Regional Police, and he very likely saved lives by his actions last night. This is now the focus of an investigation by the Special Investigations Unit, and we can't speak in any more details to that. In terms of identifying the five deceased victims, we've been notified that the Office of the Chief Coroner will be confirming their identities and we're not yet permitted to release their names through the coroner's office. We can tell you that there were three adult males and two adult females. A sixth victim, a 66-year-old woman, was seriously injured and remains in hospital. And as a victim, we'll be protecting her identity. We can say all victims reside in the condo building. Three victims were members of the condominium board. But the motive for the shooting remains part of this very complicated and very fluid investigation. 